We started Mad in America as a webzine in, in February of 2012, and we launched it with the thought of that it would become a forum for rethinking psychiatry and also for building a community of people, an international community of people, interested in that topic. Now, personally, I became convinced that psychiatry needed to be rethought after writing two books on this topic. One was Mad in America, published in 2002, and the other was Anatomy of an Epidemic, published in 2010. And those two books, broadly speaking, had these three themes. One, why are outcomes so poor for major mental disorders in the United States and, frankly, other rich countries, long-term outcomes? Two, why is there such a disparity between what is found in the scientific literature about the nature of, of psychiatric disorders and the effectiveness of treatments and what is told to the public? And three, the fact that the voice of those who've been treated has been missing so often from that general societal discussion, both today and in the past and in histories of psychiatry. And if there's anything that doing those two books taught me, it was the importance of listening to that voice and incorporating that voice into any societal discussion about the merits of psychiatric care, and also into discussion of our, our society is having about uh, such things as forced treatment, that sort of thing. Things, uh, issues that raise questions of civil liberties and human rights. And another essential part, of course, is that we have a roster of bloggers, both from the U.S. and abroad, who write regularly on the site about all of these different topics. And we have people who are psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, family members, and most importantly, people with lived experience. And I think you'll see in those blogs, you know, a diversity of opinion, a diversity of beliefs, you'll find new information, but there is one sort of common theme, and that is people agreeing that something needs to change and we need to rethink our current paradigm of care. We also invite uh, comments from our readers, and we think this is an important part of the website, because you see in that discussion, in that dialogue that is created between our writers and our readers, a lot of insights, a lot of illuminations, I think there's a lot of growth that happens in, in that interplay between our, and our readers' comments and our writers, and also the news. Um, we do try to make this part of our website civil. We ask that our readers comment in a civil fashion. And while we do that, we also want to encourage sort of free discussion of, of ideas. And right now we're getting about uh, 85,000 visitors per month, and this is growing steadily. About 20% of this uh, readership comes from outside the United States. Now, financially, we have been sustained to this, this point, these after 20 months, really in two ways. One is by a lot of volunteer work, and two is by reader donations. And going forward in the future, we're surely going to be relying on reader donations, and we, we, we thank you for that and hope you'll continue to provide us with that support. We also have some ideas for uh, becoming more self-sustaining financially. We're going to be hosting an international film festival in the spring, of, in the fall of 2014. We're going to be begin publishing our own Mad in America books, and we have ideas about starting a Mad Market where you'll be able to buy other books and other documentaries, that sort of thing. But, so we thank you for your support, and we hope that you will stay with us as we grow and evolve.